Got off the phone with Matt, and we have a new baby! Just moments before his euthanasia appointment. When we brought him home, he was infested with fleas, extremely constipated. So we gave him a bath, expressed his bowels, and picked all of those fleas off of him. And we, of course, gave him some nice num-nums. A lot of um, issues that he's dealing with right now. Um, so he, of course, has Manx syndrome. He has the congenital defect that um, instead of eliminating or shortening the tail has um, eliminated part of his spine. He, at this point, um, is urine continent, but fecal incontinent. He also has retention of um, abdominal gases and he isn't able to have flatulence. Um, so he can't fart. So his abdomen gets super distended because of all of those um, gases that he just, he can't get out. Um, in addition to that, he had fleas, as you have seen in probably this video. Um, because of that, he has a severe iron deficiency. So he's taking iron for that. Um, and got a upper respiratory infection. Um, which is pretty common when you have a new foster what, because it's um, a new situation or he got a viral infection from maybe a cat he was exposed to prior to our um, having him. But, and it is such a severe upper respiratory infection that he also has pneumonia on top of that. I have a ton of stuff to do. He has a ton of medications. I have a chart um that doesn't even have all of his um medications and stuff he just today developed a um eye discharge and he has pinkening of his conjunctiva so basically he has conjunctivitis which is caused from the upper respiratory infection so we are also going to be adding a ophthalmological antibiotic on top of everything else he is already getting. Keep in mind, I am taking care of a very sick baby. He needs round-the-clock care. He's getting blood sugar checks. Sometimes, that's what I forgot. He's getting blood sugar checks so often. His blood sugar is doing crazy things. One minute, it will be in the 500s, too high to read, and within 30 minutes, he'll be bottomed out at 20. And we literally have not done anything like it's just doing crazy stuff um most likely a cause uh, side effect of his medication <coughs> sj has been admitted to the er in respiratory distress and will remain there until further notice despite our best efforts of supportive and preventative care sj developed an upper respiratory infection and pneumonia this coupled with his genetic deformities have left him fighting for his life. While in the care at VCA for pneumonia, SJ became septic. He was on oxygen therapy and multiple different types of IV antibiotics. Slowly, he began to regain his appetite eating a little bit here and there, and slowly moving away from having to be syringe fed. He then slowly learned how to start playing. Got his very own merch. Made a best friend named Snow White.
learned that he absolutely loves kisses, and once you start giving them, he does not, under any circumstance, want you to stop. We have decided that we are going to be SJ's forever fosters. That's right, we are foster failing, and SJ is now a permanent member of our family. Welcome home, sweet boy.